Hello everyone, and welcome back to RuneScape. It's been a little while, you know, RuneFest has come and gone, Halloween came and went with nothing happening really. Um, nothing has really changed in the game all that seriously since the last episode, which is depressing. You know, I still remember the days where every week, pretty much, you know, three or four weeks a month, you'd expect an update quest every month and all that. That has not been the case this year or the past years in recent times, pretty much the existence of this channel. But, regardless. So, Moonfest, um, I mean, I could go over everything. Like, if you care about the game, you probably know everything. We'll see it come out when it comes out. The big thing this month is, of course, we have Herblore and Farming going to 120 in the very near future. I believe next week is when the update is. Maybe the week after that. I'm not entirely sure. But, the point is... Um, I really regret not taking advantage of the player owned farm because now we're sitting at 103 farming when I could have easily had 120 if I actually conceived that they would go with farming 120 anytime soon, which I did not. I did not see these being the two skills that went to 120 next. I just didn't. Like, I could have seen a lot of other skills going to 120, but not farming and herblore as the first ones. It seems kind of crazy. Like, there's a lot of fun ones that they could have done, like Construction to 120, give Construction something new to do. Could have done, you know, like Thieving to 120, do like a whole new amazing heist thing for those levels. Summoning to 120, like they're doing a summoning update, but it's not summoning 120, it's just like high level summoning. I don't know, it seems kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, we're getting Farming and Herblore, we'll be checking that out. Unfortunately, it comes out the same week as the double XP weekend that they're doing, but they are doing something interesting. Which is, they're finally making it a little better, where instead of having to play just as much as you can during the weekend, which I'm always busy on those weekends, guaranteed, instead you get the whole week to do up to 36 hours of double XP. Which, I like that change. I don't like how many double XP weekends we've been having, but I do like that uh, they're finally making it a little less, you know, life-altering in terms of having to take the weekend off if you're that obsessed with the game like a lot of people do. Of course, people are still complaining because like, oh, but what if I want to go bossing on Monday and I haven't used up my 36 hours? It's like, well, you know, use it up on the weekend. Pretend that it's a normal double XP weekend and just play all weekend long if that's a problem for you. But for me, I'm very happy. It'll mean I'll be able to do both of my accounts and uh, not just AFK one of them. And that will be nice. Don't have an exact plan for what we're going to do. As usual, I've not bought supplies or anything because I'm smart. But the general idea is, I want to get us into Max Guild this year. I don't know if that was a stated goal at the start of the year. It probably was. Um, but regardless, we're going to do it. So I'll probably be working on stuff like runecrafting and agility. Maybe some construction with whatever proteans I have. Maybe some hunter. I don't know what I'll do in hunter, but, you know, something. And uh, obviously, woodcutting would be a good one to get out of the way. It's basically, it's a lot of you know, not money skills. I've luckily funneled enough XP into my money skills that I don't have to buy a ton of supplies. You know, like, construction's the big one, really. Fire making is not big. Crafting, I don't know what we'll do for crafting. Maybe I'll just save that one till last. No idea. Combat ones, that's easy. I need to do Dominion Tower anyway, so that is what we will do. And, uh, other than that, yeah. I think that we will be able to easily reach that goal for this year, get in the Max Guild in time for them to do the PVM Hub update, hopefully. Although that might end up being, I don't know, in December, so who knows, it might beat us to the Max Guild. But when they do that update, the boss portal in the Max Guild should become free to retune, I think, if you... I think it's just free in general. I think it's the PVM hub where you get free to retune if you have 100 kills of the boss. I'm not entirely sh sure on that. Point is, though, it'll be very beneficial to us because I won't lie. If I could teleport instantly to certain bosses, I'd be a lot more likely to kill them more often. For example, the Dagonoth Kings. The only reason I think that we've not done them yet on this account is because I don't feel like walking over there. If I could teleport there, it'd be fine. But yeah, so that is what is going on. Um, in terms of other updates, like in patches and stuff, there's been a lot of little patches and things. Buff bar's been breaking. Um, they're getting rid of the Java client, finally. That's another big thing. Um, 
It's a small thing, but they made warped tortoises have a less ear-piercing noise when you kill them and use the chime, which I really appreciate that because I still want to actually reach the um, the top age thing for kills. Like, if they ever do another um, top Slayer Killers thing, I want my numbers to be up there. And I'm a long ways away, but, you know, we'll get there. Um, I guess the other thing is, that has happened since my last episode, is a lot of J mods have been leaving, and it's kind of hard to tell why for a lot of them. Some of them we know why they've left, but others it's just like, they're just leaving. It's like, one a week, two a week, three a week. Who knows what's going on? I know they've been like restructuring their teams and stuff. They got a new boss and all that, so. Lots of stuff going on. Hopefully it's all okay and things uh, don't impact updates and all that, but we will see. Uh, what else? What else? Um, the Android um, app, it is now available to all members. I know that. And uh, still no iOS one, but you know I don't use Apple products, so that doesn't affect me personally. I barely use the Android app anyway. I've had access to it for a long time, and honestly, I like to multitask. You can't really effectively multitask with the app because you know there's uh, one app open at a time, and the game doesn't like it whenever you switch. I don't know. There might be a setting I can change where I'll be less likely to get logged out, but. I just don't really like the app. Like, for one thing, I like to know what time it is, and there's no option to have the current time displayed in the app, and trying to pull down the clock often does, like, clicks and stuff because it's a touch screen. If they could just do that, I might use it more at work during my breaks because I need to be able to see when my break ends. Uh, but, yeah, anyway, enough news, enough everything. We're all caught up. Probably not. I've probably forgotten a ton of things. But today we are doing the Jed Hunter mini quest because it should be short and easy. Nice something. Get out of the way. Get a little bit of free hunter experience, which we need. We got the items here. I believe this is everything that we need that isn't in the currency thing. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk out to Lookout Ekahi. Ekahi, or however he pronounces his name. He gets to choose, but I don't know. Captain, it is time for us to go after Jed. Alright, accept quest. Why now? What's changed? I have seen how you carry yourself and judge you to be worthier than Jed. He is a bad man, but you are a good person. But you must promise me that you will not kill Jed. My actions cannot result in his death. He spared my life once, now I must spare his. Will you agree to this? Yes, I promise. I will hold you to that promise, Captain. Uh, okay. Jed instructed me to contact him only once I had killed you, so first we must fake your death. Hey, are we finally going after Jed? If so, I need to be better prepared first. After that, he would send me to a location uh, to rendezvous with him, deep in the Uncharted Isles. Oh, and Captain, if we're heading far north, I have some troubling news you need to hear first, too. There is a chance he will still have the people he kidnapped from Port Sarum. Aye, and we'll need to prepare their revenge to take on a lot of passengers. She's not built for it. Well, it sounds like I have a lot to do, doesn't it? Let's deal with these things one at a time. I'll talk to each of you individually. Alright, let's just start with Bosun Higgs. It's about time we went after Jed, but... But what? Now it comes to it, I don't feel ready. How so? You always seem ready for a scrap. I've been keeping something from you. I didn't think it was important, or even your business, but I was wrong. You're my captain, you should know. My commander, when I asked her to give me leave to find my brother, she refused. How did you persuade her to let you come? I didn't. I'm AWOL. If the Kintra track, track me down here, they might hold you responsible too. How could you be so reckless, Evie? Evie? Yeah, she's an Eevee. Um, you've put us all you've put all of us at risk. I wasn't thinking straight. I have to get Jacob back. He's the only family I've got left. But shirking my duty like that, I'm no Kintra. I have no right to wear this uniform anymore. 
You should be an adventurer. We can join all the armies in the world and never have to do anything unless we feel like it. Besides that, it makes me easy to spot if anyone comes looking for me. So you need some new armor and weapons? Wait, you're not kicking me off the crew? Not until we've got your brother back, at least. Any ideas? That Tingu bloke in Waiko um, Market has some sweet gear. I bet he could help. Alright, so we just gotta run on over to the war- the- the warket, yes, the- the Waiko Market, which is a warket, apparently, um, and talk to Sojobo, or whatever his name is, he's somewhere, right here. Looking for work? Nope. Hello, Tingu, I don't suppose you could spare some melee armor and weapons for a friend of mine? Charity is at the heart of the Goo way of life, but that works both ways. If you could but help me, then you would also help yourself. What do I need to do? You seek armor and weapons, and I seek to remove such from the hands of the underserving. Un underserving or undeserving? Those are two different things. These islands are filled with Ronin Goo warriors, masterless rogues no longer following the way of Goo. They serve only the 11th way, the way of selfishness. If you track down and defeat three of such goo ronin for me within the Uncharted Islands, I shall gift you with what you seek. Goo ronin, Uncharted Islands. I'll get right on that. I'm going to look at the guide to see if there's anything special we have to do to get there if we just travel to islands until we find them. Um, let me see. No, you just have an increased chance. Okay. Uncharted Islands? Small ones, please. Okay, this is not a small one, but whatever. Let's run around and see if we can find some Goo Ronin. This is the biggest small island I've ever seen. Jeez. If only we could find the other berry. I always find Exu Berry. There's another berry and I need it. And I've never found it on any of my accounts. Very annoying. Very frustrating. Ornate turtles. I'm not seeing any Goo Ronins, but I am seeing washed up supplies, which I will take before we go. Or supplies. It almost paid for the trip. Almost, but not quite. Luckily, I've not been using my supplies anyway. So, Premier Club. I guess I forgot to mention that. Um, it becomes available in a few days. Uh, I'll probably be getting it on this account just because unless they increase the price it'll be the same price as me buying 12 months of membership normally because my uh, legacy price on this account is $9.49. Well that's something. Yeah this is more like the small island I expect. Uh, but yeah so if they've raised the price this year though I don't know. I'll have to think about it. It's a tough choice. Treasure chest, huh? Um, because... I don't know. I don't really make, get good use out of my Premier Club. I I spend too many days not playing the game, for one thing. And I don't know. I don't want to support excessive um, charging of players. Hey, there we go. Goo Ronin. Oh, a bird. Oh, I guess I've already found that one. I found two new birds while gathering the items I needed for the quest. Uh, but yeah. So hopefully it's just $90 and I get Premier Club. They've already shown the armor. It's You can see it at the GE right now with the guy who guards the vault that I never do. Um, which I should do. It probably, I mean, I'd probably be a lot closer to the levels I need if I actually did that. Wow, I almost died there. Glad I didn't. That would have been annoying. Anyway, yeah, we have killed the guys. We can go ahead and leave, head back to Waiko. But yeah, I mean, I won't get Premier Club anytime soon. For one thing, we'll wait and see how the quality of the 120 updates is, because Slayer was a disappointing 120 update. It could have been great. Um, if I mean, if they had just released those Abyssal monsters that they've been working on for years, it would have been better, but they didn't. Alright, uh, I have defeated three Goo Ronin in battle. The Goo thank you for your contribution. Please take this along with our gratitude. 
Alright, so now we got a Tetsu set. If only it was that easy to get Tetsu. I mean, seriously. Very easy. Oh yeah, and this parcel thing's going on again. 20-something days of parcels. I'm not paying attention to it. Alright, so we talked to Boson Higgs. Dead Hunter. Have you spoken to that Tingu bloke on Waiku yet? Actually, yes, I have. Here you go, Evie. Etsu armor, dual katanas? Sweet. No leering while I get changed. I wouldn't. He doesn't mean you, Captain. Cover your eyes, Steven. Okay, um... Navigator, I guess. We'll be... A much more original look for her than just being a generic Black Knight. So what's this news I need to hear, Jimmy? I've been communing with Umi and the sea creatures. How's that? I'm a sea singer. It's kind of what we do. But Port Serum is miles away. Oh, that's nothing. Wherever we are in the world, sirens from the same pod can hear each other's song. It's how we communicate. Anyway, she told me that the Thalassus has been spotted heading east towards the Ark. It might already be here. See, this is why we hadn't done this previously, I think, is because we hadn't done Deadliest Catch, which is a recommended but not required prerequisite. Okay, that's not good, but how is this a problem? Not a problem, an opportunity. If you take me to see Sea Witch Kala on Whale's Maw, I think I could commune with it, help get it to help us out. Do we need its help? Well, the Serum's Revenge has no guns. If things go wrong and we get into a fight with the Jed, all we can do is try to outrun him. The Revenge is fast. She's built for speed. Not if she's full of rescued prisoners, she isn't. Hmm, I see your point. Some extra help can't hurt. I'll stop by Kala soon. I mean, I could just, like, get a dwarf cannon and put it on our boat, if that's our problem. Okay, so we're speaking to someone who, what, where, um... Sea Witch Kala. Okay, so that's the one from the, uh... Curse of the Black, whatever thing, Blackstone. Yeah, that quest. We can't see it because I've filled. Um, right. I should probably actually go to the island. I'm running out into this island as if it's here. It's not here. Good stuff, me. All right. Uh, Whale's Maw. There it is. I never go to Whale's Maw unless forced to. And I am forced to. Yeah, let's go ahead and run on over here. Oh yeah, another thing is, they added a new type of item to the oddments shop, cinder cores, which they're doing a thing for. These things are ugly, aren't they? I'm not the only one who thinks that these things are ugly, right? I don't know. But they're apparently a new thing that's going to be around. Um, okay. Paula, might I request your assistance? What is it, Sea Singer? I've sensed the Thalassus in this region, and was hoping I could commune with it to see if it might help us. So do that. You don't need me. It's not listening to me. I've tried. I mean no disrespect, but from my understanding, it will listen to you. So you know of me. My reputation precedes me. I mean, why else would we come seeking you if we didn't know about you? What reputation? Not now, Captain. Please leave this to me. There's a price. There is always a price. Bring me two turtle shell bowls made from the turtles on this island, and I will help. Does it have to be from this island? Because I already have some. I'm not sure what deal you're making here, Kala, but here are your bowls. It'll be alright, Captain. Don't worry. Doing a lot of things. It is done. The price has been set. The Thalassus will hear your words now, Sea Singer. Okay, can we go back now? Thank you, Kala. It is answering my call. Do not thank me yet, Sea Singer. Well, this doesn't sound at all portentous, which is a word I use all the time. Don't worry, Captain. I'll start communing with Athalasis. Talk to me back of the ship. All right. We just made a deal with the devil or something. But it doesn't matter. You know, it's all worth it to get this random guy. Jed, we don't even remember what he did. It's been years. It's time to get him. Alright, uh, back to the ship. I don't know why, but I want to talk to them. Not there.
probably talk to him anywhere. Okay, goalie, so how do we prepare the Serum's Revenge to take on lots of passengers? We'll need to travel light on supplies and empty out the hold, then add some extra buoyancy to the ship. This sounds like something the ship chandler in Waiko Market could help with. Er, yes, you go talk to Rosie. Tell her, I... Actually, never mind, I'll just clear out the hold. Alright, let's go talk to Rosie. Pick up some supplies while there, because I've not picked them up. I've been meaning to make, like, a checklist to keep track of everything I need to do in RuneScape all the time. Like, gather supplies every... How many days is it? Like, five days? I don't know. However long it takes for this box to fill up. But, uh, I don't. Hey, Rosie. My quartermaster thinks you might be able to help... May, might be able to suggest a way to make our ship a bit more buoyant. Yeah, sure, I can do that. I just need a few materials. Oh, but wait, you're quartermaster. That's that goalie fellow, isn't it? Yeah, I'll also need you to get him to stop loitering around here if he's not buying anything. Oh, that, yeah, I think he has a crush on you or something. Really? Then why doesn't he just talk to me? He just hangs around, that seagull of his pooping everywhere. Steven. Excuse me? The seagull, it's called Steven. Okay then, Steven. Okay, I'll have a word with him. Why would you have a word with the seagull? Not the seagull, my quartermaster. I'll talk to him about the loitering. What materials do you need? I'll need ten pieces of driftwood, a taijitu, and five seashells. You'll find all of those in the Uncharted Islands. Or in my pockets. I have those materials you needed, but I'm not sure how seashells help a boat float higher in the water. They don't. They're for my personal collection. The taijitu is to pay me for my time. I'll just be treating the driftwood with my super secret Rosio Lacquer. But your quartermaster should attach below your ship's waterline, and you're golden. Okay then, here you go. And there you go. Pleasure doing business with you. There we go. That looks not like driftwood at all. That looks more like weird bamboo. But whatever. Apparently she turned driftwood into round green things. Oh well, let's talk to this uh, loiterer here. Did Rosie ask after me? Um, after a fashion. She asked me why you were so weird around her. I'll take it. You can take this too. From Rosie? She she touched this? I'll get on the installation right away, Captain. And would you stop loitering by her stall, or at least talk to her? Okay, I mean, I guess we're ready. So, Ekahi, how should we go about faking my death? Oh right, we had to do that as well. Yet has people everywhere. Do you recall who set you up with a work crew to transport the Moai head? Wait, Johansson works for Jed? Is it Johansson? Just spelled really weird. If she sees you die, she will contact Jed of my mission's success. Then he will send me rendezvous coordinates so he can give me my next task. Okay, next time I go talk to her, you pretend to kill me. Aye, Captain. Um... If I remember correctly, she was over here somewhere, but I'm going to have to look it up to be sure. Okay, so... Where does it list this? Johansson the dealer. That's not what I'm going to call her, whether or not it's her name. Okay, she's a trader. She's somewhere here. Or is she just one of the generic traders here? I have no idea. I have no clue where she is, but we will find this lady. No. Okay, I have a feeling that she is where I remember her being then. Or at least in that general area, which is in one of these houses. Well, not inside it. You can't go inside these houses, right? Like any of them. But, you know, up here somewhere. Somewhere, somehow, we will find Johansson. There we go. Probably saying this name. Looking for something? Or someone? Drop the act. I know you're a spy for Jed. Huh, so this dopey Cyclops is even more useless than I thought. I am not useless. Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. How did I do that? 
There, it has done. I had to pretend friendship to catch them unaware, and then I'm just back. Now go tell Jed I am ready for new orders. Hmm, I suppose I can't argue with that. Expect rendezvous coordinates from Jed soon. Yeah, okay, yeah, goodbye. Nice. Okay. Are you okay, Captain? Nothing a long soak in a warm bath can't fix. Good job, that key. Alright, I guess we return to the boat and we're ready. We'll have the rendezvous coordinates, we've fixed up the boat, we've gotten all my crew ready. It's a common problem with this crew, is they always need me to do all their chores. I don't know. It's just how it is, I guess. As an adventurer, everybody wants favors constantly. It's 24-7 favor city. Alright, so, I guess he's still in charge, though. We'll talk to him to see how to progress. Has Jed sent you the rendezvous yet? Not yet, but I expect he will have by the time you've helped the rest of the crew. Uh, who haven't I helped? Um. Oh, do I need to talk to her? Are you all set with a thalysis, Jimmy? I think so. It's very angry, though not with us. So I so it said that it would follow our ship. Oh, well, that's uh, comforting, I guess. All right, now we're ready. Um, what? Okay, that was weird. Yes, Captain, let's go after Jed. Yes, let's go to sea. Um, okay. I thought it was a cutscene, but no, it was just an awkward camera thing. Their revenge is primed, ready to sail off at a moment's notice, Captain. If anything goes wrong, me and Jimmy will get us out of here. Okay, can we, like, do something? Are you ready, Ekahi? I will be. Thank you for trusting me, Captain. I want you to know that no matter what I say to Jed, I am with you. Will he be here soon? Yes, Captain. I see his sail on the horizon. You should all get ready. Yes, I am ready. I don't need to talk to everyone. Ahoy there, Ekahi. How's tricks? They're for kids. Ah, hello, Captain. No need to be so formal, friend. You're my buddy, my mascot. Yeah. I owe you my life. Yes, yes, very good. Now, what news do you have for me? The adventurer known as Kebab has been dealt with. Dead, I hope, not just dealt with. Your agent saw with her own eyes. Yes, she told me what she saw. I want to hear it from you. You've always been honest with me, right? Are you being honest now? I have taken their ship as a prize. I can see, very good. That's not answering the question, though, is it, my old chum? I, I... Aha, uh -huh, not to worry, I'm just pulling your chain, friend. Come aboard, we have to plan what's next for you. Besides, our buyers will be joining us soon. I'll need your help unloading our cargo. Buyers? Of course, two birds, one stone and all that. Meet you, meet them, sell the goods. The Harbinger will be arriving post-haste. The Harbinger, Captain, why would you trade with... Why would you trade these innocents to that ship? A chime is a chime is a chime, and many chimes are music to my ears. But Captain, nobody deserves such a cruel fate. Ah, uh, but they paid in advance, which is why I needed that meddling kebab dead. Can't risk messing this one up, or we'll all be joining her crew. Chin up, I'm not selling you. Jed. Not quite as dead as you let on, Ekahi. Naughty, naughty, you lied to me, and I thought we were friends. I owed you my life, but you spent that when you asked me to kill for you. Kebab spared my life, and so now my life debt is to them. Ah, you betrayed me. No matter, I was going to sell your life to the Harbinger anyway, along with the rest of my cargo, so it's no skin off my nose. No, but I'll skin your nose if I don't get my brother back. Who's that then, dear? I don't know you. Sorry. He'd be the Black Knight you kidnapped from Port Sarum. Oh, sorry to disappoint, my lady, but he's sold already. The Khan of Goshima took a shine to him. What can I say? She does like them military types. Aye, and what about Trader Stan's stolen property, lad? Oh yes, that. Ha, now that is embarrassing for old Stan, isn't it? To find something like that on my new ship? Gave the boys a right chuckle. Yeah, no, I gave that to the Khan of Goshima, too. as something of a peace offering. Wow, poor Stan. Anyway, I would just love to stay and chat, but the Harbinger will be here any minute, and I really must dash. 
Wait, you're running again? To where? We're at open sea. There's a lovely little island over there. I'd rather be marooned than to have failed my buyers. I'll lead your eclectic crew of miscreants to welcome them. I'm sure they'll be most accommodating. Doodles. I don't really understand why he's just not annoyed by that. He's just like so happy to abandon his ship. No, wait, you can't. Just watch me. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the... Um... Thalysis. Oh, okay. I thought there was more there, but whatever. I'm sorry we couldn't bring Jed to justice. I broke my promise. This was not your fault, nor was it Jimmy's. This was the will of the sea. You have much to learn of Cyclops' culture. Perhaps we shall travel together one day to my home of Cyclosis. Yes, perhaps. Um, now what, though? Do I have to talk to everyone? He sold my brother. I thought we were going to save him today. I'm sorry, Evie, but at least we know where he ended up. We'll sail to Goshima just as soon as we can. Thank you, Captain. It may be months from now. Uh, Navigator? Jimmy, what happened with the Thalysis? When Kala said the price had been set, I thought she was referring to those turtle shell bowls we got for her. But right before Jed drove off the ship, I heard the, the Thalysis. It said the price had been paid. I guess the takeaway is never trust a sea witch. No, it's not Kala's fault. It's mine. I should have cared to find out the rules before asking for her help. I'm not quite the sea singer I thought I was. Yeah, I don't assume. Like, Spooky Witch says a price, and it's just two shell bowls. It's like, what? Those things are cheap. Hey, Goalie, have you heard of the Harbringer? I, there's, a f there's few in these parts that haven't. I always thought it a myth, a ghost story to scare the young'uns. We'd best not hang about, get that hold open, and let's get out of here. Take them back to Port Serum. Okay, so we actually have to open the hold then. That's what we were waiting on. Yes, I am ready to leave. Okay, let's you get let's get you out of that prison, Ander. Back to your old one. And there we are, back in Serum. Hooray! We got some chimes, some Taiji 2, which I never use. Hunter XP and Justice. Yes. Eating by a fish. The best form of justice. A good amount of XP. Getting us closer to that 99 that we so desperately need. We got a small parcel. Got junk from it as typical good stuff so yes that is another mini quest complete i'm um, not sure what we'll do in the next episode might be related to me getting ready to get all 99s i don't know but it shouldn't be too long maybe i'll finally do one of these quests here that i can complete but have been putting off for example i still feel like i should probably get evil dave's big day out i wanted to do that when it came out but i didn't and since then i've just been putting it off which is annoying, so maybe I'll do that. Or maybe we'll continue this and do eye for an eye. I don't know. We could. The rewards are, uh, you know, I mean, we need prayer XP. We will have to wait and see. And, of course, we can look forward to the 120s coming out this month and the double XP weekend. Which I will not record while I have double XP active, most likely. But once it's done, I'll record. And we will check out the update. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!